up a lazy river with me. Nora Selkirk is loving her iPod Shuffle and the music it's bringing into her life. I just like it. I just like to go into or off the back of the house or something and and, uh, and listen to it. <laughs> you have a son who's a musician, don't you? Yes, friend. Kay Bear also loves her new music. I just feel relaxed and I enjoy music. With me. Nora and Kay are both dealing with the early stages of dementia. The music brought to them by these tiny iPod shuffles is not only making them smile, it's directly counteracting the damage being done to their brains by Alzheimer's disease. As dementia affects the brain, different parts of the brain um, begin to deteriorate, but it's also the communication between those areas in the brain. Um, when people listen to music, it tends to be more of a global brain function. Like you could say the whole brain lights up. I love the way the music, you always look so happy when you're listening to your music. <laughs> Using music and dementia suffers is nothing new, but picking personalized playlists is and it's making all the difference we have entertainment to come in and for a group of them but it's not the same as when it's one-on-one -on -one. family and friends know the music won't stop the spread of the memory robbing disease but they've seen a marked difference in their loved ones quality of life she certainly uh, comes exceedingly alive when those headphones go on it was quite remarkable to see it the iPods for Memories program is currently operating at two nursing homes in Huron County. The hope is to expand to a third very soon and beyond that later this summer. Of course, that may not happen without some help from you. We want to have recycled iPods from the general public, from students. We know that they only use them for a short time and then something new comes out. It's just I like them and so I just keep playing them. <laughs> For more information about the program or to donate to it, you can go to the link on our website. Ian Godrich, Scott Miller, CTV News.